Paul. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I was just reading this about uh, Franklin Pierce. Uh, he was the 14th president of the United States. Yeah. And he was born November 23rd of 1804. Mm -hmm. Son of General Benjamin Pierce and Anna Kendrick Pierce. Mm -hmm. General Pierce, an American Revolution hero. Mm -hmm. Served 12 years in the New Hampshire legislature and was twice elected governor. Oh. One of these heroes of the American Revolution. Yeah. Um, this, uh, individual, yes, mm -hmm. he was president and I've never heard of him before. Yeah. I, I read his name, Pierce, um, uh, and I thought of, of Pierce County, Washington state. Yeah. Where I think Tacoma is and maybe Piala. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And I was thinking of King County in Washington state. Now, um, uh, Pierce's leadership in the fight, yes, to strike out this unfair provision, yep, uh, there was an unfair provision, mm -hmm. see, Pierce, ne Pierce's next public service was chairman of the New Hampshire Constitutional Convention of 1850, yep, there his influence and hard work helped to keep out, uh, of the new constitution of provision barring Catholics from holding public office. <laughs> this question had become more of a problem as the number of Irish immigrants settled in New Hampshire towns increased. Oh. Now it says here he honestly believed that political discrimination on religious grounds was undemocratic <laughs> and an insult to citizens of the Catholic faith. <laughs> Now, wouldn't that be something that um, those in office would insult the citizens of the Catholic faith or any other citizen? I've often, I've, I've felt like I was insulted. You know, it's one thing to fraudulently arrest people or say they committed crimes when they didn't and then really assault them and abuse them as sheriffs and police officers. But it's a huge insult as a citizen of the United States to say that um, all of this discrimination is because I'm a Christian. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, I am feeling somewhat religious today, Catholics. <coughs> and um, from what I'm reading here, there were a large number of Irish Catholics yes, that had immigrated to the United States. And <coughs> these... Uh, individuals in office they like to insult them you know when i think irish i think of freckles and red hair i don't know why that is but oftentimes when i see a, a woman that has freckles on her face i find it very attractive in a woman now um these individuals in office that like to insult citizens <laughs> i'm feeling insulted today and <laughs> Finding out that of the presidents that we've had, I didn't know about this Franklin Pierce. I'm, I'm kind of thinking I'm a little stupid. You would have thought that I'd known of every president of the United States and why they were elected to office. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, at the Democratic National Convention of 1852, oh, there were three leading candidates, Lewis Cass, oh, Stephen A. Douglas and James Buchanan. No one of them was able to get the two-thirds majority needed to be mentioned or to nominate. Him. Yeah. Pierce's name was entered on the 35th ballot and he was finally chosen on the 49th. William R. King of Alabama was chosen as the, can as the candidate for vice president. You know, these Democrats that are running for office, I... I noticed that a lot of them want to spend trillions upon trillions of dollars to fight um, global warming. Oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I said, well, I'd like to do it for free. And they, they think, well, what we'll do is we'll obstruct your right to manufacture and produce electricity mm -hmm, because of the use of steam. Now, for the American citizens that are concerned about the warming of the planet, mm -hmm. And the thought, well, we're just going to elect presidents from the Democratic Party that are 
really going to reinforce the belief that green technology is the way we should go? Mm. Governor Jay Inslee. So, mm. You know, I think that this concern about the warmth of planet Earth, yes, uh, it's difficult to cool it down without any additional fresh water. And I know that you would say that we have oceans full of water and it's salt water and there's plenty of water everywhere for everybody. Mm. But I've been really thinking about your solar panel legislation and your windmills and your your electric cars and all the subsidization of all of these different uh, zero emission uh, technologies. <laughs> Yep, I'm going to spend $3 trillion subsidizing the green electricity manufacturing of the world. <laughs> Not really focused on producing large amounts of new fresh water, as if if we were to increase the amount of water in reservoirs, mm -hmm. lakes, and rivers, <laughs> some of it might evaporate and cause a global cooling to take place because... <laughs> All the politicians that are running for office, they all know how this nation needs to run. <laughs> and the whole thought of water in some way cooling the earth yes, couldn't have some influence on the land. <laughs> now, I'm sitting here, insulted, feeling stupid. <laughs>